No. 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 S still no. Don't be that guy. Nobody likes a pocket electrician. What's up everybody, my name is Spencer and this is American Electrician. And on today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my electrician's oxygen leather tool bags that I wear just about every day now. So what's up everybody, my name is Spencer and this is American Electrician. On today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my Occidental Leather Electrician's tool pouch that I carry with me just about every single day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. On American Electrician, we do electrical how-tos and gear reviews such as tool bag tours, uh, hand tools, power tools, you name it, we're gonna do a review on it. So if it's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. But for now, let's get started. All right, so as you guys saw in the beginning, uh, it's just a prime example of why you don't carry hand tools in your pockets because it sucks, right? Nobody likes to do it except for that one guy who doesn't really do anything. Um, stands off in the corner with an 11 and one and a pair of linemen's and barely gets anything done. But we're not gonna be those guys today, all right? We are going to get it done. We're gonna have our tools ready. I don't carry all of my tools. I do carry a bag and a tool belt, um, which looks like this. Uh, but for the most part, I just carry my hand tools on me depending on what I'm doing. But to, for the sake of this video, I put the whole kit together. Uh, so I'll show you guys everything on this video. We will leave a link in the description to everything here. So that way, if there's anything you guys see that you want, you guys can go ahead down to the description and click on whatever it is. I'll have the name and a link under it. and that'll make life easier for everybody. So real quick, we'll go through the entirety of the kit and then we'll go through individual bags and what I do with them. Um, so on my right hip here, I've got my telecom pouch and this is what carries my hand tools. I wear this every single day um, and I'll go through what's in it here in just a minute, but this stays with me on this belt all the time, 24 seven. Um, and then on the back side here, I keep a tape holster and then Back here on my back left side, I have a, a tape clip, which usually carries an impact or a drill. I don't ever have to worry about my clip either tearing up my pants, um, you know, pulling pull my pants off. <sighs> that sounded so weird, <laughs> gosh. And then on this left side, I have the, I think it's the big ox, um, but it basically is like a fastener, uh, bat fastener bag for me with a few extra slots just in case I need to carry something extra. This is my telecom pouch uh, from Occidental Leather and inside we'll just run through it real quick. I'll leave a link to this stuff too. I don't want to take up too much time with this part of it. Um, but I've got my knife that clips on to this little section here, uh, which is fantastic. It, it's supposed to be a scissor, something to hold scissors, but I find that uh, either a light clip or a knife clip fit in there great. Um, a number two Phillips, this is my Philo quarter inch uh, flathead. And then normally I keep a pencil and a marker in there. Or if I'm using my impacts a lot, I put my quarter inch or my three eighths or whatever size nut driver I'm using, I uh, put my, my six inch Weeha nut drivers in there. And then in this slot here, I've got my level, diagonal cutters, wire strippers, Linemen's, all Knipex, of course. Yes, it's it's pronounced Knipex. And then I've got my Cobras. And then here I've got my Fleur voltage detector uh, that I always keep on me, and it doubles as a flashlight just in case my headlamp dies or something like that, um, which is nice. So here I've got my tape holster, um, and right now it's got gloves in it because. I didn't need a tape and I was doing something where I would take my gloves off because I didn't want to get smudges on stuff. Um, but I have a 25 foot Milwaukee stud, um, which is a big tape measure and it fits in here. And I think this is the large one. I'm not sure, I'll have to look, look that up, but it'll be in the description. Um, but it takes that tape, these, or you can see there's a hole in the bottom and my hammer actually, got my hammer right here, perfect. I'll pretend like I planned that out, but uh, you know, if I'm in a pinch, 
I just fit that through there like that and it sits nicely on my back side. Um, obviously if I have this bag here, then the hammer goes into the bottom of my big ox, um, but it doesn't always come with me everywhere. So this does, it never leaves. Next, we have a tape clip from Racketeers, I believe, uh, either Racketeers or I think it's from Gatorback, but it's upside down and this usually holds a drill or an impact, never a tape. I don't like putting my tape in there. I like that holder, um, but either my impact or a drill, something with a clip and I don't have to worry about it. It's super, super nice. And then this here is my big bag. It holds all my connectors, all of my couplings. Uh, if I'm running pipe, you know, connectors and couplings, and then, or if I'm putting in boxes, you know, I put a few boxes in here, um, wire nuts, uh, red heads, anything like that. And it's got some, some bit holders. I've never, I think I've used these like one time, uh, but they're not super, super sized well to fit anything that I use, but I can get some longer screwdrivers in here. Um, something, you know, there's this, this little tab on the end that you can put your tape measure on, or you can put a long screwdriver through or something like that. And then there's some more pockets inside that I find useful. Definitely the larger, larger spaces is what I like about this bag and why I use it as my fastener bag. And that setup right there is what helps me to be organized uh, and efficient. It, it helps me, I know where everything's at. Uh, my tools, I'm really used to my pouch now. It took a little bit, but it's fairly easy to get used to and I know exactly where things are at. So if I move my strippers and my dikes and I get them switched around, then it, you're so immature. That's the setup that helps me be efficient. That's what I like to use. They are great bags and um, I would always recommend them. Um, it's a two inch belt, which I like, it's comfortable, but it's not overwhelming. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know if there's anything that you carry that I don't, let me know what your setup is, but I appreciate it y'all. Have a good one and I'll see you guys on the next one.